Uh, before we get into fingerprinting, one area I want to talk about is the scanning electron microscopy kit. It's also known as a gunshot residue kit or primer residue kit. Um, we were going to talk about this uh, in the section where we did the uh, firearm trajectory, but we ran out of time. So I'm going to demonstrate this kit. Um, there, this is not a presumptive test. We don't have any immediate or known results from the kit. Basically, it's a kit where we're going to take samples from somebody we suspect that might have fired a, a gun and um, they'll be sent to the crime lab for analysis and we'll get a report back as to whether they were positive for um, gunpowder residue. In the kit itself, when you open it up, there is a um, data sheet that the officer will fill out. It contains most standard information with the, uh, the agency, the case number, the officer's name, um, individual being involved. There's a point in here where you would ask them if they recently shot a firearm, which is a good interview technique because if they say no, and we later identify gunshot residue, or they say and it's a little difficult for them to come back and say, well, yeah, I did fire a gun that day. I was at the target range because they've already told you that they didn't. So the data sheets contained in there, also contained in the kit are some latex gloves, which I prefer to use my own latex gloves from these. Um, and there are sample bottles, basically for the various areas to collect, and they're marked right palm, left back, right back, and left palm. What we would basically do with this sample, we're going to do a uh, gunpowder residue kit. We would take the container, mark right palm, basically unscrew the lid off of that container. And what you have inside is simply a round black dabbing surface that is um, tacky. And you're going to take that and you're going to dab the particular area of the subject's hand that's indicated by the uh, by the container. So if I could see your right palm, it's right there. Basically we're going to take the kit and we're going to dab several areas Put light pressure, just enough to leave a little bit of an indentation. And then without making sure that that doesn't come in contact with anything else, we're going to seal it back up into the container. We're going to complete the same process for the back of the right hand, where we're going to base put light pressure and just dab certain areas. I found that as a shooter, most gunpowder residue tends to accumulate in this area of your hand because that seems to be where it comes from a gun. So that's a good area that the, the handle is right back to, to check. Again, we're going to seal that up. And we would do the same two examples with left back and left palm. But once these are sealed, we'd place them into the kit. We'd complete the, we'd complete the uh, data sheet I explained to you. We'd go into the kit. The kit would be closed. And then the kit would be sealed with integrity tape evidence tape, and from there it will be submitted to the crime lab for analysis. The lab would examine the, the samples and report back to us if there was any evidence of gunpowder residue in the collection. This kit, um, this has come in handy mostly in my experience with uh, cases where we've had uh, suicides, self-inflicted gunshot wounds, um, and it is a, we would run this kit on the, the victim and if we could locate uh, gunpowder residue on the victim's hands it would support the fact that the death was actually a suicide rather than a, um, a criminal homicide. We've done these on suspects of shootings. Um, the, the main issue with these is that they need to be done recently. Uh, somebody who's fired a gun, once they've had an opportunity to wash their hands they're going to wash the majority, if not all, of the gunpowder residue away from their hands. Uh, just putting your hands in your pocket uh, is going to wipe it clean, going to wipe it off of your hands. So the longer you have until you encounter a shooting suspect, the less likely you are to obtain a positive um, gunpowder residue test. So it's important that these are done as soon as possible after somebody had fired a weapon.